what is going on guys welcome back to another video on the channel um today is going to be something different obviously as you saw by the title but um i've been getting a lot of questions a lot of dms in discord a lot of comments on the videos how do you install lspdfr how do you get your lspdfr to look like this how do you do this how do you get that so today i just thought i was going to jump in here and show you guys the basics and how to install lspdfr so with that being said make sure you like comment subscribe hit that post notification bell so you know whenever i post or go live if i ever go live and uh all the links to the all the links that will use be used in this video will be in the description box so you guys don't have to go searching so uh yes let's jump in here and see how to install lspdfr all right so obviously the first thing you want to do is have your uh grand theft auto 5 downloaded in a place where you know it's going to be so i have mine downloaded on epic games um so if you're using epic games you can go to your library go to manage and go to where it says installation and click open installation installation uh location and the folder will pop up and what you want to do is go back one and you want to mark this you want to pin this to quick access i already have uh actually i don't but we're going to pin this to quick access that way i can get to my gta as fast as i need to so with that being said um if you're a steam user steam you want to click on your on your uh, gta 5 you want to go to manage browse local files and your gta will pop up right here i do have installed uh, gta installed on steam and epic games for you know copy purposes backup issues so you do want to back up your game if you have the space for it but i highly recommend it highly recommend it so with that being said um you want to keep your gta folder open so you know where it's at at all times and we're just going to go ahead and minimize this the first link you want to go to in the description is lspdfr.com and you want to download lspdfr 0.4.9 you want to hit download this file you're going to hit agree and download and me personally i like the the setup version i don't like to manually install it um, because the setup just does everything for you so we're going to go ahead and click setup we're going to allow this to download which should download shortly there we go and once this is downloaded you just want to go ahead and click on it and it'll do everything um, that needs to be done for you which is pretty simple which is like i which is why i like the setup version so um i gonna let this finish here you want to click on it want to you want to go ahead and press yes when the uh, prompt pops up so now we have lspdfr right here so i'm going to minimize our background so you can see and all you have to do is hit next but here is an important thing when this pops up you see how it's automatically choosing my steam that is not the grand theft auto that i wanted to download to the one i wanted to download to is let's see it's going to be on our epic games folder but it's going to be on our desktop on our, our our desktop so you want to select the folder that has your gta 5 in it if you do not this will not work so you want to go ahead and press install you want to hit finish when it's done and when the configurator pops up you press next you hit show license like i said it's it's going to do everything by itself for you you're going to let this timer down uh, come down you're going to press accept you're going to click do it for me these are settings that they recommend settings that they set for you which are decent settings so with that being done you now have lspdfr installed into your game so we're going to jump into the game and I'm going to show you LSPDFR. All right. So as you guys can see, we are inside the game and uh, we are at the police station. And if you notice with the map, when you install LSPDFR and you install it correctly, 
you're gonna see these badges on the on the map and they're gonna indicate police stations and you go to any one of them and uh this is the mission row station so if you run in here and go into the locker room uh and go here into this blue marker and hit e it's gonna prompt you with the selected character uh you're gonna have to create a character obviously have a cre uh, character created but once you do that you're gonna press go on duty and you're basically gonna go on duty so uh you can go to your locker select the uniform you want to use uh, and make sure you press confirm and then you want to go to the garage and that's where the cards would be obviously <laughs> So we're just going to go ahead and select this one for the time being. But uh, yeah, you have LSPDFR installed. You are now on duty and you can patrol with uh, LSPD, uh, LSPD, BCSO, you know, all that good stuff. To ensure that it is working, even if you guys don't believe we have a we have pursuit a in progress. All right. But why does the game look Let's go ahead and turn this down but as you guys can see the game is looking like you know a little generic how do we make the game look better so i do have a few options for that um I, you know you can clearly see the pursuits working uh they're shooting from the car let's go ahead and uh in this really quick oh gotta reload gotta reload all right that's two two out of three there we go we get a tire here there we go. See, and just like, whoa. And just like that, that's how you get LSPDFR working. Well, let's, let's make LSPDFR look a little prettier. So I'm going to jump in here and I'm going to show you um, many different visual packs or graphic packs that will make your game look better. All right, so what you guys want to do is go to openiv.com and you want to hit download now for openiv and this is going to be the application that you use to install your cars your guns your mods you know all that good stuff so you want to make sure you download that i'm not going to do it because i already have it so you know i got it pulled up right here so basically when this opens up here let's go ahead and close this so i can show you what it looks like you open open iv this is going to pop up you want to go ahead and press windows and it's going to ask you for your gta 5 directory which is going to be what we pinned the quick access earlier so what you want to do is come to the top here you want to copy it and then you're going to paste it into the section that asks you where is your gta now what you want to do to make your game look better you want to go ahead and go to lspdfr.com and you want to search visual b Visual V is going to make your game look absolutely amazing, as you can see from these pictures. So you want to go ahead and press download this file and you want to hit the June 22nd, uh, 2nd, 2017 version and download it. I'm not going to download it because I already have it downloaded. And uh, what you want is a zip file opener. Uh, so like WinRAR or 7-Zip, I highly recommend WinRAR. It is free and I use it personally. But once you get this uh, downloaded, you want to go ahead and go to installation files via data package. You're going to take this visual v.oiv file and you're going to drag it into your open IV. You're going to go ahead and hit install. And when you hit install, make sure you hit mods folder, mods folder. OK, you do not want to download to your game folder because that will break your entire game. Your game will no longer work. So you want to make sure you download it to your uh, mods folder. And there we go. Quick and simple, just like that. So now we can go ahead and minimize this. We're going to go to Radiance V. 
which is going to make your lights look um, even brighter than what they do. Or if your, you know, lights aren't bright enough, you want to download Radiance V. So we're going to have this install here shortly. I'm going to go ahead and download that. We can close out Visual V. So same thing with Radiance V. Uh, you're going to go ahead and go to OIV installers and you want to download the last one. This is going to replace the normal uh, so it's not too bright, not too dim. Once again, you want to go ahead and install it to your mods folder. If you install it to your game folder, your game will no longer work. Mind you, I am not responsible for anything that happens to your game. So that was simple and easy. That installed. Our last and final thing that we are going to install is ELS. <clears throat> you want to go ahead and download that. And you want to do 1.05. We're going to download the 1.05 version. And um, yeah. So we're, we got that downloaded. And for this one, you're going to want to go into your, um, your GTA 5 main directory. You want to go into installation files, Grand Theft Auto. You want to take these and you want to drag and drop them in. So, with that being said, now that you have all of that installed, your Grand Theft Auto, your LSPDFR will look better. It will look improved. And, you know, so I'm going to jump into the game and show you the, the aftermath of everything that we've installed. All right, now that we are in the game, our game uh, most definitely looks better. Um, let's see if we can. Our game most definitely looks better. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get inside the police car. And this is what the look, lights look like in the daytime. So they are clearly bright enough for the daytime. And um, let's see, go ahead and set the time back to night. Oh, um, oops. So the F4 tab you can basically use as a trainer. You can heal yourself, give yourself weapons, um, you know, spawn cars. So to enable to do this, you want to go ahead and hit uh, F4. And I'm going to go ahead and 18. This is what the lights look like when it gets darker. But yeah, that is how you install LSPDFR. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification bell. So you know whenever I post or go live. And um, if you guys want me to make another video on how to install custom cars and all that good jazz, uh, custom cars, EP, stuff like that, make sure you guys smash that like button and i mean smash that like button um also get this video let's run the, let's run the views up on this video okay I'm, I'm i'm here i'm helping you guys out let's uh let's help each other out make sure you guys like comment subscribe hit that post notification bell so you know whenever i post or go live with that being said i will catch you guys on the next one peace